All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be replacing some pickets, like the ones that are broken at the bottom here. I've got a couple of areas that are like that from either wind damage from storms, from the pickets flying off, or bunnies running through the bottom of them. And so when we do this, we're gonna stain them, or really age the wood, to replicate like this one that I did last year. And the reason I do that is because I don't want the pickets to look fresh like this. The raw pickets on the old wood looks really bad for fence maintenance. And so we're going to age about 15 of them. So it's not an exact match to the old gray, but it looks significantly better than just the raw picket look. So let's go ahead and start aging 15 of them real quick. All right, so here we are about 20 minutes later. The wood has started to show some of its aging. So in the video, you'll see that um, we had splashed some areas. So you can kind of see really how quickly this stuff can start to age. And then it looks like these are all gonna be different colors. And they might end up slight different shades, but the aging process will take longer on some pickets versus others depending on how wet they are from the store so maybe let them dry out a little bit better than i did and then you might start to see some uneven areas but those will also either a they're missed or b they're just going to take a little bit longer so i usually lean these up against the fence for a day and uh, let the wind hit both sides maybe flip them for the sun and um, they'll all pretty pretty much end up the same color and so as I showed in the beginning of the video, um, it's not going to be an exact match. Um, you might have one batch that ends up being pretty close, but then you might end up like these where they're a lot darker, which I think, I think they look a lot better than fresh picket still. And then here's another one from that first batch that looks really good. Maybe it's a little too dark. So overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, let's go ahead and show you how to make the aging compound. Alright, so for this next portion of how to make this, you're going to need a decent sized mason jar. Steel wool, that's really fine, so extra fine. Got this from Harbor Freight for really cheap. Some white vinegar, and then some dish soap. And so all we're gonna be doing here is first prepping the steel wool. And so the steel wool is gonna come with a um, coating to keep it from corroding and we have to wash that off. So we're gonna use some dish soap and some soap and water. And so you'll just wash that coating off real quick. And so choosing the amount of steel wool that you want to use is based on how dark you want your pickets. So if you want them really dark, use more steel wool. If you want them really light, yes, use less steel wool. And it also depends on the, dur the duration of how long the steel wool is in the solution. So I usually use 24 hours as my metric, and I just change how much steel wool I want to use. And I actually use the same steel, steel wool over and over until it starts falling apart. So once you get all of the soap out of it, take some paper towels, 
And you're going to need to do this to each of the pieces and just dry it really nice. Better than I'm going to show you in this video. And pop in your how many pieces you want. So to get a really dark solution, I'll use six of these small little um, six of these small little rolls. They come like this. And what I would suggest when you first start out is maybe just use three or four, do the 24 hours in the solution and see how it looks. And if it's too light, then you could either do more time or add more steel wool. And so what we'll do then is just take your white vinegar and I'll fill it nearly all the way full. And then it's gonna start its chemical reaction. And you'll see bubbles forming for the next, you know, 24 hours. And you're not gonna to wanna to put your lid back on because it could cause this to explode, I guess, you know, with all those all those gases that are forming and nowhere for the the pressure to go. So leave it unjarred like this. You can just set it outside or in your garage. And if the steel wool starts to float up, it's got a lot of gas stuck in it. So I'll just take a screwdriver and I'll just mix it around and get all those gases out and it'll sink back down. And after 24 hours, this will turn to like a brown black mixture and you can just fish those out with some long needle nose pliers. And after that, you can then put the lid on and store it how you want. And when you go to use it, just um, shake it really well so you get an even mixture. And I found that the, there's different mixtures online for how to make this stuff. I've really enjoyed how cheap it is for the white vinegar and the steel wool. Yeah, I mean, it's only a couple bucks of supplies. Okay, maybe like 10. And depending on the type of wood you get, I'm using cedar pickets. It could change for how the color is gonna come out. So if I was to recommend a specific color mixture, but you're using like a, a pine grain, then that's not gonna turn out the same as the cedar that I have. So keep that in mind. So maybe test a small piece of picket before you do all 15 of yours.